and there's a there's a place of, of honor that you have to have when you wear that jersey and it's a responsibility and we all take it and we love it and we become champions and we keep on doing it year after year older good-looking people teaching younger <laughs> And he keeps on passing down, and you know, I want to let y'all know I've already talked to Mark Ingram earlier today, and he's doing great. And even more importantly, I talked to Trent. And I'm telling you, he's going to play an amazing game tomorrow. Y'all get ready for my little brother. I'm, I'm really proud of him. Both of you guys have been a part of championship teams. I want you to take me to what it's like, and I asked some of the other guys about this, but Saran, let's start with you. The night before you're playing in a game of this magnitude, tell us what it's like. Wow, well, you know, as a running back, the night before a big football, a big football game such as this, you, you really just go through the basic things. Uh, with me, I would always try to visualize scoring a touchdown, you know? I would try to visualize, you know, hitting a hole uh, real fast, uh, you know, maintaining ball control, getting all my audibles down, um, you know, just you just play it all out in your mind. The crowd, the, the fans, the, the, the band, the, everything that's going on, you just play it all out. And, and, you know, when they kick off that football, and when you get in that huddle, and they call that play, whether it's a tall sweep or you hit it up the middle, you've already played it out in your head. And so uh, I believe that's what a lot of the players will be doing tonight. They'll, they'll be just playing everything out in their mind. Sean? You know, uh, vision is an amazing thing. And I think that when you start actually playing it out in your mind, as soon as you see what you've already saw, you can't help but make it happen. And so we've been taught that from that's the Alabama way of kind of preparing yourself for exactly what's going to happen. And then for me, you know, I, I, Chris Samuels was at my house last night. We both live in Washington, D.C. And we were just talking about our team, our, our 99 championship team. Um, we were the only two seniors that started on our offense. And so we knew that that we had to go talk to one of these sophomores and one of the freshmen to go make a play that's way above their head because they didn't know that we needed them to win. And so besides my own self getting ready, I was always thinking, who do I need to tell to make this catch? Or who do I need to tell to pick off this pass? Because I knew if I said the right word to them at the right time, when it showed up, they would make the play. And it happened over and over and over again. We played Florida uh, in the SEC Championship. But, and I think that that's what carries on now. You know, the team, I, I, I was telling Saran this backstage, you know, what I like about this team is it's just a bunch of hard workers pulling together. And, it, and they're, they're a little bit different and special than the, the teams that we even had because, you know, everybody knows Trent's talent. It's just way up there. But the rest of the guys, it really just, they come together. And it, it's something special to watch. And uh, I think if we do our job at being the 12th man, um, we're going to be really, really happy about 11 o'clock. Sean, for whatever reason, people around the country in my business don't seem to be giving this Alabama football team a lot of respect. What's the answer to that? Well, you know, when I first got here, I, I met uh, Jay Barker, and, and he was getting ready to head to the pros, and he said, now you, you know what's going to happen here. We win so much that everybody wants to beat us. And so we have two choices. We either take the challenge, or we can actually let them be right. And so we just take the challenge. You're either wearing crimson, and you're going to be one of the teams that has the most SEC championships, the most bowl appearances, the most bowl wins, the most national championships. That's what we do. So either you're with us, or you're one of the second place finalists.
Saran, give us one thing you're looking for tomorrow early in this ball game as a major key. I'm, I'm really looking uh, for our offense to really start out fast. You know, versus before, you know, we'll wait around, try to feel the game out. Uh, I really sense that uh, we're going to have an aggressive offensive team tomorrow night. We're not only going to run the ball, but we're going to throw the ball tomorrow uh, against LSU. I'm really sensing that. How about you, Sean? Well, you know, I've been amazed that people, you know, in the whole sense of things, ESPN and the writers, that they forget that we have the number one defense in the country. It's not close. And, um, and so I think our defense is going to play lights out like they did last time. And I think Trent's going to just shine. But I'm really, I'm really agreeing with Saran that I think AJ is going to shock the world. Guys, it's been great having you here. Thanks again for what you did when you played for the Tide. Thanks for coming by to visit. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Sean Alexander. Woo!